Hello everyone, today I'd like to introduce the two important mathematical formulas used in physics. First formula is a gamma function. The gamma function is expressed in these equations. When the case of the n is integers, final equation becomes a factorial of the n minus 1. So I'd like to prove that these formulas for the gamma functions. So from the, these equations, you can use the uh, integration by part. Then it becomes minus exponential minus x, x to the n minus 1, 0 to the infinity, plus n minus 1, 0 to the infinity is exponential minus x, x to the n minus 2, dx. So first terms, if you substitute x equal infinities, this term is equal to 0. And if you substitute x equal 0, this x to the n minus 1 is equal to the 0. So the first term is going to be 0. So this equal n minus 1, 0 to the infinity. Exponential minus x, x to the n minus 2 dx. So if you look at this part, by changing the n minus 1 to the n minus 2, so this is exactly equal to gamma n minus 1. This becomes n minus 1 gamma n minus 1. So we have a really important formula for the gamma n equal n minus 1 gamma n minus 1. So we can use this formula for repeatedly. So this is becomes n minus 2 gamma n minus 2. So this part is uh, n minus 3 gamma n minus 3. You keep repeating to calculate this way. Finally, you will get gamma n is expressed n minus 1 n minus 2 n minus 3, blah, 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 up to the 1, gamma 1. So we need to calculate gamma 1 separately. For the gamma 1, you can use the definitions. Yeah, n equal 1, so this becomes 0 to the infinity. Exponential minus x dx. So it becomes minus exponential minus x. 0 to the infinity. If you substitute x equal infinity, it's going to be 0. The 0 is going to become 1. So this becomes 1. So finally, you have gamma n is equal n minus 1, n minus 2, n minus 3, blah, 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 up to the 1. So this is factorial of the n minus 1. So for example, if you try to calculate gamma 4, it becomes factorial of the 3. So it's 3, 2 times 1, it's 6. Okay, so I have explained gamma functions. Okay, this is the end of this session.